Uh, the GHA has, through uh, the appointment of a, a responsible officer, who basically is an officer that ensures that all our doctors are GMC compliant and they keep up to date with the training and so on, he has visited Spanish tertiary centres and he has told us categorically that the GHA is, beyond a shadow of a doubt, at least 10 years ahead of Spanish tertiary centres in terms of the quality of the care that we provide. And the Honourable Gentleman knows that in the past two years, following on from the work of the Honourable Dr John Cortes, we have quickened the pace of repatriating as many services as possible, not only because it makes sense for people not to have to travel when they are sick, uh, and all the stress that that, uh, that entails, but also because we want to make sure that we have as much capability within our homeland uh, as possible. So he is right when he says that these negotiations are sensitive. They're sensitive because we need to make sure that the clinical standards are appropriate, and we're happy with them. Let me tell him something else. If I had to choose whether to go to the UK or to Spain, I would always choose to go to the UK for any complex treatment. There's no better place than NHS University Hospital if you have something seriously wrong with you. However, of course, if there is an emergency and you really are sick and you can't fly, then we need to make sure that the care that we provide to our people is the best that we can. And we can only do that by making sure that the tertiary centers agree to those standards. There is one uh, tertiary centre, and I spoke with my lawyers yesterday on a contract which is about to be signed. So I will be able to make a statement on that one before Zanet. But I can assure the honourable gentleman that if we're taking time, it's only because we need to get it right. Because we're not talking here about yeah, a typing pool or any other service. We're talking about the care of our, of our patients, of our community.